Hi everyone. I'm just going to be doing chores this afternoon and I thought that I would maybe take you guys along with me. <laughs> so I'm using this sleigh this time to help me out because, well, I am not very talented. I cannot run a camera and <laughs> pack a bunch of stuff at the same time. So you guys will actually get to come along and see everything. So I'm just going to be feeding dogs next. This is Nana Dog. <laughs> sometimes we tie her up, sometimes I don't, but if the other two dogs eat their food right away, then we're all good. We just feed them summit dog food because I think I think well so far it's been the best with keeping weight on them. These boys are fairly active. Hi Clyde. This is Clyde. He was the first dog I got on my own. I always grew up with dogs and had dogs, but he's my first one. And this is Boone. He's Patty's dog. But yeah, I got Clyde when we first kind of, when we had Eva. I had got him and he kind of hung around with the kids a little bit in the house. And he was always kind of nervous around them. So now he, he just stays outside. If it's really cold, we bring them in the house. Oh. I'm just watering them. Ed's up there. Look, oh, looks like he's gonna make a little campfire. It's always nice when he does that. Then the kids can go over and kind of hang out at it tonight. Or this afternoon. <laughs> now, I don't know if everybody else's dogs like doing this. But Clyde's water dish, he will just dump it. He'll just flip it up in the air and dump it. It's like he doesn't even like drinking water. I don't know what he's thinking when he does that. I'll just give him some extra water for the night. See, like he's already finished his food. Good boy. But I think he's still eating, so we'll leave him alone. Nana's eating her food, so we'll leave her alone and we'll go do chickens next. I can't believe how icy the driveway in the yard is. It's ridiculous. We got some warm weather and then it rained a little and then it just decided it's gonna get all icy as you can see there. And the rest of the driveway in spots is icy as well. So, I don't know, makes it kind of sketchy. <laughs> hey ladies, here's the chickens. We just cleaned the chicken house probably um, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. So looks like it's due for another cleaning. I still have lots of water, so I'll just top them up. We set up a heat lamp like this above the water to try and keep it so that it doesn't freeze, especially when it was like minus 30 there. And then what we do is we just fill a big tub up, a big pail, and then just bring it up and fill the trough. And then that lasts them a few, quite a while actually. Hey guys. <laughs> there's the rooster. And then he's got a few hens here. And then there's a big gray rooster. And he's got little white spots on him. It's kind of pretty. And then you do this funky thing with your hand where you stuck it in the sleeve. So if they decide to start, yeah, there we go. You know, start pecking. You got anything under you? Okay, who's next? Well, 
We have a red lady here. Oh, yeah, peck me too. I always get scared when I grab the eggs if they're gonna peck and then peck the egg and then it'd be useless. <laughs> okay. So that's it. That's those. This was features. I didn't videotape myself walking up the hill because who wants to see me winded? <laughs> you know, we just heat the heat lamp. There is some windows here, but we don't we don't use them. We just have like the little vents there for summer. And then one right here. As you can see, they get kind of dusty, the chicken houses. So they look like they're happy. They didn't didn't use as much water as I thought they would. I thought they'd have be all empty. And that's down into the chicken pen. We threw them some veggies. So hopefully they like that. Oh, there they are playing. <laughs> we do have some Muscovy ducks. There's three of them down there. There's a male and two females. And the one female, her name is Fritz. When we originally bought her, I thought she was a boy. <laughs> we were told she was a boy, but she wasn't. She's the hen. <laughs> so I named her Fr Fritz from, if everybody's read uh, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> one of the characters was Fritz William, I think it was. And so I named her Fritz William, but sadly it's a boy's name. <laughs> Poor thing. And as you can see, see, just gets icy everywhere. I need those spikes on my shoes again. <laughs> Looks nice out the view. At least the chickens have a nice view over Bacon Lake and then the Quinell Mountains and the Horsefly Mountains. Yeah, it's all really nice. Room with the view. Oh, here's Nana. Hey, Nana. She watches over everything for us. And guys, I want to show you too the, the snow. The snow is ridiculous how much snow we got this year. I shoveled off the trampoline a couple of times, or once this year. And then I thought I was going to have to a second time, but it's kind of whatever, it's left alone. But every time the kids come out here and play, they have to re-stamp, stomp down a new path. And... You can't keep up to it. The poor little gaffers, they come out and they hike through all this snow. And there's a bit of a trail pack down to the swing. But the poor things haven't been able to enjoy their swing set as much this year. If I step off the path, I'd probably go up to about my hips in snow, I think. Because this little slide here, the kids used that this summer. and Yeah, it's up to my waist, my hip kind of thing. So... <laughs> no way they're using that. And then, so this is just our sad little trail walk shame across the yard. And you gotta hope you stay on the path or you're gonna go through like someone did here with <laughs> <weird> zigzags. <laughs> view. If it wasn't for the power lines, it's it's gorgeous, the view today. It is so nice and sunny. Me and the kids really enjoyed coming out here and looking at everything and kind of exploring. It was great. Okay, so now I'm going to get some food for our pig, Matilda, <laughs> as I'd like to call her. And we started doing the loop program, so we give her like the, the veggies and the dips and that kind of stuff. So what's this here? Bacconcini cocktail? Not too sure what that is. Some looks like a dairy product of some sort. We'll check it out and see what the heck it is. Oh yeah, it looks like little cheese balls. So when I'm doing this for Miss Piggy, I just kind of look through and kind of almost like our 
own kind of diet. I go, oh, what would be really good to put in there for her? What's, what kind of covers everything for us? That kind of deal. And sometimes it just depends on if I have a knife or not to open up packages. If I have a knife opening up packages, she just, she just gets whatever. When I was first doing this, I was really intimidated by the, the loop program just because I, you're not exactly sure what to give them and what not to give them. And every time you're kind of paranoid thinking, am I going to poison this poor animal? <laughs> I guess I should show you. That was that was macaroni salad. So there we go. She gets some macaroni salad. And this what is this cooked turkey breast. I'm not too sure if she can have that. So Dallas, when he gets home, he can he can let me know. He he did the loop training, so he knows more about it. But so I just kind of fill in for him. And Patty did the training. This is mayonnaise. I'm just going to give her a little bit of mayonnaise. It's kind of cool. The, you just show up and, they, and you load up some food in the back of your rig. And they give you some for your animals. <laughs> we gave lettuce, actually, to the cows, the heifers and that. And... They actually ate all of it. It was pretty awesome. They seemed pretty, thought that was pretty cool. And then I gave her some peppers. Ooh, and there's some bread in here. Yum. Let's give it a whole loaf. Oh, and it looks heavenly mini marzano tomatoes. Yum. <laughs> Piggy's getting all sorts of things tonight. Yeah, there's some more bread in there. One of these boxes did have milk in it. And I loved giving her milk. I think she... Oh, it looks like maybe she got the last of the milk this morning. The best was giving like the dips and stuff to the chickens. They really liked that. So maybe I'll just give her some more of this cheese. There we go. There's some yogurts, but I won't bore you guys with trying to open up all those yogurts to give her. That seems fairly hefty. Fairly hefty. I feel like we gave her quite a bit, so. Now we just need to take it to her. There's another macaroni salad. We could give that to her, I guess, but that'll be her meal for tonight. So this is where we're keeping the food for uh, Miss Piggy is just in here. It's like an old, it's the entrance to a root cellar. It doesn't get too hot or too cold just in this entrance. So that's where we've been storing the food. And then we put it in there as well because we don't want Nana, the, the guard dog, to get into it. <laughs> Because we might have a really sick dog if she just ate all of that willingly. Um, so that's where we've been storing it so that she can't get into it and it stays safe from any other animal as well. Okay, I have to be quick. My phone's dang. <laughs> so I'll just take a little water jug and the, and the slop or what Ed researched. And he says it's called swill is pig slop. <laughs> so we made swill for Miss Piggy. And here we go. Here's Miss Piggy. She's getting excited. She can smell it. She knows what's up. There we go. make your pail a little bit sloppy but oh well when you have a pig that satisfied and happy it is worth it do you hear her 
Now that sounds like a satisfied pig. <laughs> And the pony, I should grab a pitchfork. I will go grab a pitchfork. But horses are horses, they just get hay. <laughs> and here she is. Miss Pony, how are you? My parents bought Eva this pony a couple years ago and so she's not very old I think she's actually only like two or three and we just let her kind of grow and grow for a bit and then we'll see what we can do with her it'd be kind of cool to get a little buggy and ride it for her and then I'll go get her some hay there we go now she has her feed her name is Brie, by the way. It's very confusing when you have a kid named Bria and a pony named Brie, <laughs> as we're finding out. I just went up to the feeder there where the heifers are, and that's where I got her hay. Supposedly ponies are really easy to put the weight on, so we don't give her a whole lot of feed. We try to make sure we keep an eye on that. But she probably gets still quite a bit because she's still a baby, so she's kind of growing. So we probably do give her more than she'll probably get when she's an adult. But we leave the pitchfork here and tomorrow we will do it all over again. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I didn't water Miss Piggy, but that is usually one of the chores we would do is water her in the morning or in the afternoon. But um, her watered... Her tank already had water in it still, so, and with, we don't have heated automatic water, so they, you don't want them to freeze, and, and then it's just a block of ice, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> but the heifers here are eating away. As you can see, we kind of have the, we started over here with the feeder, and then we're just going to kind of move our way along the road here. And that'll give them kind of an area to lay down, not really, because it starts to get muddy, so... I'm hoping that we can actually move, end up moving the feeder down at the bottom there where the pony is kind of thing on fresh grass, snow. And then they can start packing that down. And then this year when we calve, we won't be having the cows in here this time. We're going to move them out onto a piece of field that we don't like haying because it's quite steep. So we're going to put them up on there. And then it's always dry because it's a, it's a steep hill. It's quite dry it'll be perfect for them there's some trees up there they can hide in for windy or rainy days because we don't start calving till april so <laughs> that'll be nice and then as you can see it is the heifer's water trough over here so once so i think it's every couple days we have to well every day we fill up or every couple days sorry we fill up the tanks here i guess behind me here's some tanks we fill them up every couple of days and then we just run a hose down and we put water in the tanks and then there's hot water heaters in each tank to try and keep them thawed yeah and then the horses are over there so it'll be kind of interesting this year the summer with calving and that it'll be, it's going to be exciting so all that's left is feeding horses but i'm pretty sure everybody's seen horses being fed <laughs> so i'll end that there and tomorrow Maybe I will sneak down when the kids are maybe having a nap or tomorrow's Saturday. So Dallas will be off work and he can help me out. He can babysit. <laughs> he could do dad duty. <laughs> and I'll run down and we'll check on Poopy or Poppy, <laughs> Poppy, June and Shimmer. And we'll, I'll show you them because they're starting to kind of get their baby belly. So they might have, they might be pregnant. They probably have proven me wrong and they are pregnant, right? they're all tearing into that bale so yeah i'll do a little update on them and show you guys them and see how they're progressing we still don't have the halters on them again yet and we're not breaking them again yet but hopefully we can get the halters on them soon i've been told it's easier once they have their calves to halter break them because then you can just 
use the calf as a way to lure them into the pen and, and get the halters on them and then every day use the calf as a way of getting them in to be milked and that kind of deal. But I'm, I'm curious, I've never had a milk cow when she's had her first baby, so I don't know what to expect for milk quantity wise and I need to buy a book on how to properly maintain a milk cow because I feel like they're different than a beef cow, so I worry about minerals and that kind of thing. So. If anybody has some good recommendations on some milk cow books, I would appreciate you guys commenting <laughs> and letting me know because I'd like to be able, I'd like to treat them right. I'd like to make sure I have everything they need and they're not lacking. And then, yeah, and then there's the heifers. And we just have to find a new bull this spring for all the ladies. It's a beautiful day out. The moon's kind of sitting out there if you can see it. So that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. If there's anything specific you guys would like to see or you want more details, then just let me know and I can try and incorporate some more details if that's if you want that. Uh, if there's, yeah, and then again, if there's anything you want to see about the farm, just let me know and I can try and do a video on just that as well. And yeah, and the kids have a mess out here, the toys. <laughs> They also have their, shh, they have their dad's little ice fishing scoop. He uses it to clean out the, his ice, ice fishing hole. So I better pick that up before he <laughs> comes home and sees it. Because he just, this is a new one he just bought. <laughs> okay. Thanks guys.